previously in War on the Sea Operation Watchtower. Between the 13th and 16th of August 1942, our forces have continued to harass an Imperial Japanese Navy's task group patrolling around the Santa Cruz Islands. Our Air Force has dropped numerous high explosive and armour piercing bombs on the group, significantly damaging one of the heavy cruisers, one of the light cruisers and a destroyer, while the remaining cruisers have only minor damage. Our submarines have also intercepted a second task force, including heavy and light cruisers escorted by destroyers, heading southeast past Guadalcanal on a heading towards the Santa Cruz Islands. Several torpedo attacks have so far been unsuccessful with only minor damage inflicted. Meanwhile, Task Group 13, our ASW group, has been patrolling between New Hebrides and the Santa Cruz Islands and has successfully engaged and sunk a number of Japanese submarines who have been hunting our supply convoys. The following action takes place between 0800 hours on the 17th to 1000 hours on the 22nd of August 1942. Hi everyone, welcome to A Minutes Past 8 on the 17th of August 1942. Spot a Japanese submarine out here. Uh, let's see if we can, now that we've got the newly upgraded Santa Cruz Islands airbase, we have four Avengers. Let's get them loaded with some depth charges. Yes. Nice. Um, and we're going to send them first course to attack this submarine off the coast here. Um, and see what they can do with that. A brand new squadron, let's hopefully they'll do us proud. Meanwhile we also have Task Force 13 which is our anti-submarine patrol which are currently going around the Santa Cruz Islands. I'm going to send them, the submarine appears to be going north, so I'm going to send them up there as a kind of backup if the Avengers do not do the business first time out and uh, hopefully we can sink them with that. Uh, we've also got Task Force 26 which is our merchant ship uh, merchant shipping with the heavy cruiser Portland and Dewey and Dale destroyers as escorts. They're making their way back to New Hebrides now where we're going to try and get some more supplies and oil etc and bring that up to uh, Rennell Island to upgrade the airbase there so we get some Avengers here so we can you know into the uh, the channel here we can flood some torpedo bombers bombers whatever should any uh, shipping or submarines try to go through that area. But for now, we'll let these Avengers take off and hopefully intercept this Japanese submarine. Hi everyone, right, there it is, there he is. He's on the surface, trying to make some good speed. So I've ordered two of these Avengers to dive straight in and attack. And the other two are just circling out there and they'll come in on the secondary. Now here he goes, the lead pair coming in now. Each of these Avengers has four depth charges. Here goes the first, second, third and fourth. Okay, he's diving down. Wait for the second pair to come in. There they go. I don't think we got him. There's no telltale oil slick or any bubbles or anything like that. So I think unfortunately on this occasion we failed to sink the target. And there we go, confirmation no damage to the Imperial Japanese submarine. Uh, R4 aircraft will return to base after the squadron's first raid. Unsuccessful but at least no losses from it. So Let's get these boys returning to base. We've got task group 13. Uh, let's actually pull up them up there or something like that. Maybe they can come down that way, but probably the U-boat will be long gone by the time we uh, 
they get up there unfortunately. Okay, just after one on the 17th, Task Force 4 has spotted a task group of four ships. Maybe a heavy cruiser and two light cruisers in there. Okay, scope up. Now the only downside, I say the only downside, is that we are quite... Oh yeah, heavy cruiser, light cruiser, light cruiser and two destroyers by the looks of it. Uh, we are quite... Um, shallow. There's a very shallow field here. So if we can start targeting that ship there. Growl up. Scope up. Have a little look. See, I want you to target target that lead. Um, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sorry. You targeted the wrong one. I probably selected you to target that one. The light cruiser. Um, One's a heavy cruiser. Oh, hang on, maybe I was right with the two then. Okay, so... Stop that. Oh, what, what the hell? Keep targeting it. So who's Guardfish targeting? The, um... My, Moyoko. Right, first off, things, let's slow down a bit. Let's slow down. Uh, let's have a look at our torpedoes. Again, we'll do full and a full. Oh, it's got eight degrees. Growler, do the same. Fire. As the Greening and Growler make their escape after firing their torpedoes, here they come. Ooh, uh, it doesn't look like, again, we are quite got the speed calculation right. Unless they have reacted, we may get one or two hits at the end. Or a dud or two. They're all going to miss. They are. How about the destroyer over here? Is she going to be okay? She may run afoul of one of these torpedoes. And don't forget, we've got the second lot incoming over there. Oh, one's got it. Two's got it. Three's the charm. Wow, that's the first time we've had three consecutive... Torpedo hits. Normally there's at least one dud. Meanwhile, second lot of torpedoes coming in at a different angle. They're making invasive patterns. Ah, oh, destroyer's in trouble. Oh, I think this Corvette. Uh, the, sorry, the Corvette. The cruiser might. Mm, probably not in for a major bit of pain. That light cruiser's just turned across them, though. The good news is, it's left only one destroyer to come hunting our two... Oh, there goes that destroyer. Our two U-boats. Oh, keep turning. Keep turning, boys. Turn back into them. I think they'll have the pace to get away from it. As that destroyer has already slipped beneath the waves. I think they're just going to get away from them. They're faster than our torpedoes. She's evading. She's evading. She may not evade. Please don't be a dud. Can it catch you up? Go on. Uh, the ship's going faster than our torpedo. She's pulling away. Meanwhile, the light cruiser uh, seems to be okay as well. Out of the harm's way. Yep, they're faster than our torpedoes. What can we do? Not a lot. One destroyer has been eliminated, though. Not the prize we were after, 
but prize we will take, especially if we can get our boys out of there without any problem. You just heard the clonk of a dud. Is that against you? Here we go. Is this going to be a dud? Yes, it is. This cruiser's just had two duds. How lucky can you get? Well, I suppose we were due some duds after getting three consecutive hits. Now, if she continues to turn, there's a torpedo there, and there's one over here as well. There's two, three over there, in fact. So she continues to turn. You never know if these torpedoes still have a bit of steam about them. They may be able to get on, but it looks like they, they've gone. That destroyer has... Oh, heading over there. I split the submarines to go either way. Very helpful when you've got only one destroyer now. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh, that's so close. That was so close. It would have been a dud anyway, so anyway. Cool, let's go and check on our submarines and see how they're doing. All right, here is Growler. We've got a... She's hugging the bottom, more or less. Maybe we could risk going down another 10 feet. If I can... There we go, got it. Alright, she's got us on the active. How's the other one? How's Guardfish doing? Guardfish is sneaking away. Let's go back. Say so very little surface. Uh, sorry, very little water to play with. Just backing up a little bit. Go forward. Annoying her. I'm hoping, although they're pinging us with active sonar, they know we are here somewhere. I'm hoping being close to the the bottom will maybe we can go chance another ten feet. Will um, hide us a little bit. Maybe another 10 feet. Maybe, ooh, actually it's getting a little bit shallower there. There we go, 190, there we go. We are, I don't want to go any shallower for risk of striking the bottom. Check on the guardfish. She can come down a bit. Okay, not interested in the guardfish. Increase speed. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Reduce speed. We've nudged the bottom. We've nudged the sandbank. We want to get off this as soon as we can. I thought we were just going to make it over. Depth charges in the water. Oh, crap. They've got us. They've got us. Oh, that's lifted us off the surface a bit. As has. Oh, okay. Silent running. We're okay. That was close, but we're okay. Meanwhile, Guardfish can make her escape. Good stuff. So thanks to the Guardfish managing to get out of the way and disengaging from combat, Growler lives to fight another day. No damage to our submarines, which is fantastic. Uh, and of course, the Imperial Japanese Navy have lost a destroyer for 1,450 tons. Good. And that couple of duds, couple of dents on the Mayoko heavy cruiser as well.
Well, we got something. That was a good, good, in, yeah, good engagement. I'm happy with that. Okay, 22 minutes past one on the 17th. Our task group of the anti-submarine destroyers has... Oh, there we go. Torpedoes over there. Right. Turn. Hard over. Hard over. Let's get... We haven't got our radar or our sonar on. Let's get that on. Let's navigate... Do it as we think. Porter, we have to keep a wall. Oh, straighten up, Porter. You've overturned. No, no, no. Give me control. Give me control. Uh, hello. Give me control of Porter, please. Now she's giving me control. Bloody hell! This is going to be close. Whoa! I was locked out. Oh my word! That is squeaky bum time. There is no denying. <sighs> Bloody hell, Porter. What are you doing to me? Right, Gridley. Head over here. Sommers, head over here. Right. Oh my goodness me. Right. Slow down, start listening. Crikey Moses. Right, slow your roll, slow your roll, slow your roll. Start listening. There we go. Contact spotted. Target. Porter. Target that. There we go. You engage, and we'll bring some of us around. Oh, I thought we were going to lose the porter for a moment then. Oh, my goodness me. My heart was racing. I just... It wouldn't... It, yes, I seem to be locked out of the controls momentarily. Maybe something was, um, I hadn't, in the panic, I hadn't noticed that uh, something was set. Right, let's get some, let's get a spread of three depth charges. Um, depth is going down to 240, so that's, let's go down to about 10 to 12 seconds. B class, or B type, we've seen those before. Porter is commencing her attack run now. Depth charges in the water. She's taking a little bit of damage to the rear. She's holding steady though. She's holding steady. Okay, as Porter turns around, Gridley is coming in. Um, again, 264. Oh, she is. She's slowly sinking. Now, is that her diving away? Or is that her in trouble? I am not sure. But we'll bring them in anyway. 282. Oh, she's getting quite deep now. She's diving deep with damage to the rear. I don't know whether or not... Emergency blow. She's in trouble. Right, if this is the case, she's still coming up. Let's get these guys uh, ready to open up on them once they pop their head above water. You hold there. Gridley come to a stop in summers yeah start slowing it slowing the roll come to 100 feet now make sure we are targeting that yep guns we'll be firing at will that's fine She pops her head up. We'll get her. 50 feet. Stand by. 30 feet. There we go. We can see the bubbles. Fire. 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 Good hits. Look at this.
And she's gone. Good. What the Avengers couldn't, our anti-submarine patrol could. Another U-boat sent to the bottom. And confirmation, one Type B U-boat sunk for 3,650 tonnes. Nice. Meanwhile, at 322, northwest of Renal, one of our Wildclats has spotted a group of ships. Uh, let's just try and have a look here. Two heavy cruisers, looks like a destroyer, two destroyers, two heavy cruisers, and merchant ships. Okay. Very interesting indeed. So if we can get... I think we've got the submarine Blackfish patrolling in this area. If we can get her to engage, that would be awesome. Good. Right, let's get this world count out of here and this report back to HQ. So they are aware of the presence of this task group. That could be an invasion task group. That's the worry. There's no oil there, I don't think. Just supplies. Okay, this is the wildcat that spotted it. We do indeed have the black fish here. So let's send them straight up there. And see if we can spot them. Also, we have this task group down here. Let's get them sent over here. 11 hours away. What were you? You were 9 hours away. Oh, it's not great, is it? Um... This is why we need to get Renal Island's upgraded airbase to level 2 so we can get some Avengers and we can maybe do some raids on ships coming in this area. Because you never know, they could be going to Guadalcanal to resupply. Um, for which case, Task Group 4 will be able to intercept them as they come down. Hi everyone, it's just before 6 on the 18th of August. Uh, and as you can see, this Task Group we've been following it has headed north up to... Um, Florida Islands or Guadalcanal. Now, Task Force 4 has come down here and we're going to send her this way. She's obviously going to go to one of these ports. Meanwhile, Blackfish is going to patrol and come here and hopefully we can get them in these in these little channel, channel, channels. I can say it. I'm sure I can. Here. Um, that's the plan anyway. We'll see if we can uh, intercept that group. It's been quite elusive so far. Okay, we're task group four, Growler and Greenlink. There they are. Oh, they're actually behind us. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's have a look then. Let's um, slow right down. There we go, nice. Let's target um, number four. And with Guardfish, scope up. Okay, and Guardfish, uh, we've got... Which one are we targeting? Let's target that one there. Oh, it's the same one, is it? Let's target uh, that one there. Actually, hang on. We've got to do this when we stop that. Target that one there. And what we're going to do is actually fire from our rearward tubes because we've only got a couple of torpedoes in our forward tubes. We've got four in our rears, so we're going to fire two stern shots. This has worked out quite nicely. Maximum spread... Just trying to get into a better angle now. Maximum spread, so um, we've got a sporting chance of hitting um, as much as possible. I would like to fire him that way, so we've got a chance of hitting some of the merchant ships if it all goes horribly wrong, which is exactly what we want. We don't need to be fairly accurate on this. We just need to get right this turn complete. We got a 99, 96 solution, 95 solution, 98 solution. Right, we're looking good. Right, tube four, uh, tube, or the rear tube then. Sorry, rear tube. Um, maximum spread. Fire. Okay, here we are. Growler 
just coming back up to the periscope depth. Where are we? Where are we? There we are. All right, we've got 99. Right, and our torpedoes are go. There they go. Wonderful. Right. Let's get scoped down. And let's uh, start getting low and slow and quiet. Okay, the first spread of torpedoes is indeed quite wide with only four of them. And you've got the second spread coming. These ships don't appear to be going as fast as we initially thought. We may get a hit on this. On this destroyer here. How are we looking? Can we see the torpedo coming out of the murk? Yeah, here it comes. Or it may just pass us. Oh no, just got us. Just snagged us on the rear. Now, the heavy cruiser's in for one. Is this going to be a dud? Yep. However, we've got the second lot of torpedoes coming in as well, so do not fear. We've got a runner there. Uh, she's going to miss that second cruiser. Destroyer seems to be in a little bit of damage. A uh, little bit of uh, danger. Damage is looking pretty severe. Now these guys are speeding up. It comes past the burning destroyer. Pulling all sorts of maneuvers to get away. There's that torpedo going there. They're, they're, they're safe. They're safe. Now, if they continue their turn, which I hope they do, which they are, they are now turning back into the torpedoes. But he had one dud. No, I think they're sailing parallel, are they not? Yeah, there you go. There goes that torpedo. I don't think yet. It's gone past. Well, they are sometimes faster than the torpedoes, so if she gains a bit of speed, maybe, maybe... No, no I don't think so. I think these are safely away from the other three. The other four, but... And so we have the after-action report. Growler and Guardfish successfully escape any prosecution from the destroyers. And we've got the number two destroyer with moderate damage and heavy flooding. Not as grand as it could have been, but... Uh... Oh, well. Okay. The following morning, Blackfish has spotted them. Oh, wow, look at that. Everyone's doing... Oh, the, oh, the spotter plane spotted us. Uh-oh. Right, target number one. Actually, don't. Target. Let's target number four. Um, and what we're going to do is just send a huge spread that way. And then we'll get out of dodge and... Then everyone else's job is to get past those torpedoes. I've got, got aircraft coming along. That's aircraft number two. Is there another one somewhere? Possibly. Solutions building up. I just want to fire these and get out of here. Takeo heavy cruiser identified. 91% fire. Right. Turn sharp. We may be even to get some um, rearward torpedo tubes fired. If we can get this turn done fast enough, and then we'll just try and get Blackfish out there as quick as possible. Right, rearward shot. Fire. Right, all torpedoes fired. Uh, let's get out of here. We've got destroyers going straight for us. Okay. Torpedoes coming in now. Past the first 
uh, heavy cruiser. This isn't the one they were targeting, but it might get some hits. Brilliant. We've got anti-detonation paint on these, obviously, which is impacting our torpedoes. Got the second wave torpedoes coming in, of course, but let's see where these ones end up going. So there's the target they're going for. She's doing heavy evasive maneuvers. Now I know if you get a high solution, you're supposed to keep the dispersion of the torpedoes quite low, to a low percentage, obviously, to get all the torpedoes roughly at the same point. But firing over a greater distance into a clump of ships, I just thought I'd just try and cause chaos. We've seen that in the past; they've rammed in, into each other, which has always been hilarious. Okay, we got torpedoes coming in now here. She's started to speed up again, so she spotted them. This one is going to hit. Is it going to be another dud? Surely not the fourth dud against the heavy ship. Here it comes. Right. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Okay, we got the destroyer, but seriously, anything that hits the heavy cruiser, donk. Fine. With not much happening, the Blackfish was able to escape. Wow. Okay, a couple of torpedo strikes, all duds on the heavy cruisers. Very disappointing. Um, not much you can do, really, is there? So, meanwhile, Task Group 4, we've sent back to get some um, resupplies. More torpedoes, more fuel, etc. Because they are, they are out. So, um, Blackfish is uh, continuing up here. And meantime, Task Group 4. 26 has made it back to New Hebrides. So let's get these loaded up with um, some supplies, um, some supplies, some engineering, and some fuel. Maybe we can take some troops as well. And these guys are going to set sail to Rennell Island. That way we can get a second tier airbase there. Um, as I said, I'm going to get these guys to come down here and patrol in front of them. And hopefully that should get any uh, submarines out of their way. Uh, we've got obviously the search planes going as well. In the dark on the 19th, 20 minutes past 10 in the evening, we have had an engagement with our anti-submarine group. So I'm going to do automatically begin maneuvers. I can't see torpedoes because of the light. Let's get um, radar and sonar going on all ships. Oh, there we go. Torpedoes coming that way. Right. Oh, Porter, you might as well go, but Grindley, you can probably turn hard that way and get away with it. Actually, no. Let's continue to do, turn all the way to port. I think that's probably going to be the best way to avoid these. Thankfully our early turn may have um, helped Porter. She can just use her speed to get away. And I'm going to navigate Porter up there and over there. Gridley I'm a little bit worried about. Summers is probably going to be okay. If you beeline it from there, you'll be fine. Ridley, get your speed up, boys. Whatever you're doing. Oh, this is going to be close. There's always one every ship, every time, isn't there? There's always one ship which is going to be close. Um, she may take a hit from this torpedo. There's not much I can do about it. Oh. Right, what you need to do now is slow down, let those torpedoes go past. How's the damage? Oh, it's quite bad. Get on that, quick lickety split. Summers will bring, bring rounds. God, this music is fantastic, isn't it? Really gets the sense of the, um, the 
feel of what's going on. It's very much like um, The Last of Mohicans, the soundtrack of that has got very evocative, just like this as well. It's fantastic. Alright, let's slow down, start listening. I'm check on Gridley. Keep moving a little bit, not go backwards. Is she getting on top of these fires? hope so. There you go. Target spotted. Sumner dead ahead. Target that. It is 400, sorry, 246 meters below. So we're, we're looking at probably 13 seconds. Porter. Okay, Summers is making her attack run. Okay, Porter is joining for her depth charge run. There we go. It's already got a little bit of scarring there, I think. From a depth charge that got a little bit too close. Okay, that's the first spread. That was behind. Second spread coming down there. Oh, we may not get her. Oh, here we go. Oh, hello. Final spread. Oh, it's close. Not quite. And it was that the final one. Oh, that was close. Oh, she lives to fight them. No, emergency blow. We've got a sufficiently damaged where she's got to come to the surface. Okay, she's not coming to the surface very much. Now, Porter has just run into um, Summers. Bit of flooding in the nose. Now, that was silly. That was silly. Come on. That was silly. Why did you do that? Pay attention, boys. Um, Gridley seems to be... Okay, they got a bit of flooding, but um, fire's out, which is the important thing. Let's get you moving. Stop the uh, flooding. Can we get this flooding out at all? Now, Porter's come alongside, just in case she does come up. She's slowly coming up, but I really think she's um, probably out of puff, and uh, that will be a lost submarine. I can't see her getting back up. She's not coming up quick enough. And indeed, another Imperial submarine sunk for seven, 3,700 tons. Now, Gridley took a torpedo and has got moderate damage, moderate flooding. Summers ran into Porter, the idiots. Moderate damage and moderate flooding on Summers, minor and minor on Porter, which unfortunately, due to some poor captaincy, we have to now send them back for a bit of repair to get that up and running, which means our anti-submarine patrol is um, no longer functioning at top capacity. However, I think we'll keep them around just for the moment to ensure a little bit more support for our task group heading towards the Rennell Islands with supplies. And we don't have to wait long as the task group 26 has indeed made it. Let's um, short bombardment, no no, unload all cargo please. Task Force 26 has unloaded all cargo on to Rennell Island. Good. So let's get some. Uh, sorry, let's get. Um, or should we get some supplies? No, let's build that. 
and build that. There we go. So, we've got a level 2 airfield and a level 1 port here as well now, which is good. So, in the oh, we can't do anything, but we should have some Avengers now, should we need it to uh, pass on uh, any attacks with torpedoes, etc. We're going to send that back to New Hebrides, and they can be escorted by Task Force 13 to go and get some repairs as well. Hi everyone. Right, it's just coming up to 9 o'clock in the morning on the 22nd of August 1942 and I'm slightly confused. So these two um, new destroyers we sent out on patrol, they're now anti-submarine patrolling around the Reynolds Island. We've got the task group with the Dale, Dewey and Portland escorting them back up to Reynolds to improve the um, airbase etc there. Now we were expecting the huge to pop out of port and repairs and indeed if we check here we've got the Porter, Gridley and Summers in for repair. At sea we've got Cimarron, Dewey, Portland, Growler, Groundfish, Gato, Tambor, Tautog, Blackfish, Case, Selfridge. Where has the Hughes disappeared to? And then if I have a look in here the Hughes is now available to buy again. That's not right. We'll buy the Hughes again. It's going to cost me eight command points, which I'm slightly knocked off with. Or did it not? No, I don't think it did. Did it? Yeah, it did. It did. Right, Hughes. Travel up here, and you can join that group. So I don't know what happens. Why the Hughes, when it was in for repair, suddenly was lost. There was no confirmation. It should have been popping out of port ready to go this time, but is that because the task group it used to be in was no longer there? If that's the case, that's pretty poor, unless there's a step that I missed. Uh, meanwhile, task, four, task, group, task Force 4 are doing a patrol around here, and um, Blackfish has kind of joined them a little bit, but hopefully she's going to go off on her own adventures soon. And at 9.50, our new group has just been engaged. What have we got? Oh, we've got aircraft. Four aircraft coming in. Right. Maximum speed. Split up. What have we got coming in? Oh, we've got bombers. Make sure we're targeting the aircraft. Alright, we'll get them to c complete their turns and come back together so um, their guns can cover each other. It looks like they're going after Selfridge. Right, hard to pull. Hard to starboard. Right, how are we doing? What's the damage? Minor. Okay, good. Okay, evasive maneuvers dealt. We seem to have survived that okay. And confirmation. Um, Selfridge actually repaired that damage before the end of the engagement. So no damage, no harm, no foul. Those four aircraft were damaged but managed to get home okay. So, just coming up to 10am on the 22nd of August. That is where we'll leave it. The mysterious goings on down here in New Hebrides and what happened to the original Hughes destroyer. We may never know. Uh, we've got a replacement coming out, going to join up with Task Force 27 and get those um, guys linked up and completing that patrol. We've got Task Force 26 with more supplies heading to Renal Island to upgrade um, probably, I don't know, 
probably the, the airfield again, see what we get with level 3 airfield. And I think this is a good support airfield, but I think we're going to try and build a powerful base here and bring up the port as well so we can get resupplies and stuff coming here as well. We need level 3 for resupplies port side, so that's maybe maybe we'll do that. We'll bring that in for... Um, we'll get the port upgraded this time maybe. But uh, yeah. What we also might do is invest in a second supply task group. Uh, so we can supply, you know, supplies and engineering, etc. Back and forth. Day 14, so we should get some more back in New Hebrides. Got 100 there, but that should, I think, update at the end of the day as well. And we've got our U-boats patrolling through here. Uh, Blackfish is going to break off from Task Force 4 and do go their own way. Um, actually, what I might do is bring you down here anyway, and do you just cover this island while we, uh, we do some... Uh, res uh, resource um, deployment etc uh, all the air aircraft are up and uh, spotting as best we can um, and yeah we need to start planning an attack on one of these islands Guadalcanal maybe we can actually maybe we could send Blackfish to do some recon here maybe that would be a, not a bad idea so let's bring um, Blackfish over here do some recon first and then we'll take it from there. Right, we're going to leave it there. Um, not too bad a day. A couple of U-boats sunk. If we have a look at our losses. So we on the 9th of August, we lost Grouper and Greenling. Gato, uh, some, hang on. Growler. Okay, I th sorry, I thought... A grouper, a grouper and growler. Okay, I thought I thought we'd already lost um, grouper, but no, it's growler. Good. Anyway, so we've lost the grouper, we've lost Greenling, and we lost obviously the heavy cruiser Northampton. Uh, three ships lost, thirteen thousand eight hundred and seventy tons lost, twenty-four aircraft lost as well, which is a huge figure. Enemy losses. Well, it's um, twenty-nine thousand one hundred tons and um, six ships in total no aircraft shot down it says a lot about our anti-aircraft um, guns doesn't it four u-boats a destroyer and a heavy cruiser thanks so much take care see you next time bye bye